I recently acquired a 2006 first generation black polycarbonate MacBook for free. It came with a laughable 512 megabytes of RAM, which I upgraded to 2 gigabytes, and a 60 gig SSD I had on hand, which I used to replace the 5400 RPM SATA drive. Attempting to use Safari 3.2.1 was painful at best. It crashed and often couldn't render simple pages. I wanted to get a current and updated Linux operating system on this hardware. However, I wasn't able to natively boot into a Linux installer, so I needed to first install Mac OS and get a pre-boot manager installed. I quickly formatted the new SSD via a bootable USB installer of Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard, which is the latest operating system that the hardware would support. There are plenty of ISO to bootable USB walkthroughs on the internet, so I will not cover this step here for the sake of time. I went to obtain the boot manager called Refined on the MacBook, but of course, the dated version of Safari couldn't secure a connection to the download server. I was forced to download the compressed zip of the utility on another computer and then copy the files to a USB drive. Back at the MacBook, once the USB drive was detected, I browsed to the file refined-install, opened a terminal window, and clicked and dragged the file into the terminal window to get a path of the file listed. From here, just strike the enter key to execute the installer. Enter the macOS user password when prompted, and then reboot the system when the install completes. If everything is going as planned, you should be presented with a refined screen at boot. And now is the time to select our bootable USB drive that has Linux on it, as indicated by the penguin icon on the screen. I'm using Lubuntu 16.04 bootable USB here, since the 18.10 version I tried ended up in a kernel panic every time it was booted. I'll show how to get this installed to 18.10 following the install of 16.04. From here, we just need to select all of the relevant settings as prompted. To provide some assistance, this is where I downloaded the 32-bit version of Lubuntu I am installing here. I will link this in the description also. Once the install of Lubuntu 16.04 finishes and boots, we should run a distribution upgrade to 18.10 with sudo space do hyphen release hyphen upgrade. As a note, I did run sudo space apt hyphen get space update to update repositories prior to running the distribution upgrade. Following a reboot in the completion of the install of Lubuntu 18.10, update your repositories and then run system updates with sudo space apt hyphen get space upgrade. The last issue that I found with this process was getting the iSight camera to function. You can either get this driver file from an existing macOS 10.4 install, or you can just get it from this guy's website. I've seen it other places too. Just search for Apple USB Video Support, all one word, and I am sure you will find the file. From here, you want to copy the file to a more permanent location. Change your working directory to Downloads, and copy the file to forward slash lib forward slash firmware. As a note, I am showing the purge of the iSight cache and the iSight firmware tool package removal as I had to test this process first. If you made a mistake in your setup, you can also use this purge to remove and try again. Run the command as shown to install the iSight firmware tool and point it to the forward slash lib forward slash firmware directory. Be sure to also specify Apple USB video support, all one word, in the path. Please be sure to restart the system for the settings to take effect. With a little bit of luck, your camera should work, and you should have a fully functioning MacBook with the latest Lubuntu release that is capable of browsing the web, streaming music, and just about any other low-level task you can think of. I hope you enjoy the fresh OS on vintage Apple hardware. I found this to be the easiest way after parsing through some seriously off-the-wall suggestions. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, comment, 
and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.